All right, so here we go. We're gonna go over uh, what the inspection, inspection uh, I'd say revealed or came up with. It says, okay, front windshield is cracked. I wanna consider it cracked. Just got that, that's the only thing. I can't show you that it's not cracked. It's just not cracked. Uh, that's the only thing that's on there. What's the next thing? Brake fluid is dark. Okay, probably is. I'm not doubting that. Tire sensors will not learn. Uh, when I had these tires put on over the summer, discount tire uh, changed out one of the TPMS sensors, but they've all worked until now when it was cold out, as you've seen from my video a few days ago. Um, driver's door went down rattles. So let's check that out. I think we must be talking about this. Just listen carefully. Oh no. Didn't do it. Put the window down. Oh, there it goes. So. Yeah, it's just the, the glass inside there, but. I mean. I don't know what to say. Uh, that's not really a problem in, in, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, when you're driving, it doesn't rattle. All right, what was the other thing? Oh, okay. Uh, driver's door rattles, noise at fuel door when unlocking and locking. Okay, let me grab the key. Actually, maybe we can do it from here. Oh yeah, listen back here. You hear that? So there's a locking mechanism on the gas cap. So the actuator, is, it's just the noise of the actuator. Again, I'm not gonna say that's a problem. All right, what's the next thing? Um, locking and unlocking. Okay, right back seat cover is coming off. Right, okay, they're talking about over there. All right, back cover is coming off. How do I open this thing? There we go. So this is what he's talking about right here. How this cushion is pushed in. This one here, that's all it is, it's just this little trim right here, which I had scheduled for that to be addressed and that to be addressed um, by a shop, but then when I decided to sell the car, there's no need for me to do that because it's not it's not a big deal. It doesn't come off, it's it's probably the worst it's ever been because they're probably pulling at it, but Normally it's just like, normally it's about like that. So I'll see if I can get to go back in there when I'm not recording. I, I kind of feel it like sitting in. All right, so there's that. Oh, what's next? And just so you're aware, these are the same papers, just one's a duplicate for you. All right, so uh, drive belt tensioner is leaking. Um, I guess I mean I haven't seen it because I don't get in there like that but I'll take a look at it for you and at times the shifter comes out of first gear uh, yeah no it doesn't um, I made a video on that one as well on the drive here so I'll link that video in here um, code set in history uh, I guess of course uh, I had an AC issue uh, that got replaced um, rear diff is covered in dirt and oil 
I kind of say no shit there, but <laughs> anyhow, man. So let's take a look at this and then the tensioner. All right. So here's the diff. This is from the exhaust. I think it said the hood so the gap is a little bit bigger here than it is over here so maybe when they took the hood off and done the compressor that they didn't align it but again like all these are things that i never even never seen an issue with or or cared about belt tension is leaking let's try to find let me turn off the motor and uh Where's the belt tensioner leaking at? Well, I don't see a belt tensioner on this side. You know what, man? I don't even know where the belt tensioner is. We got the alternator here. Underneath there's a the compressor. This is probably the water pump right here. Oh, down there. So let me... I don't know how I'll get up in there. But I'm going to try to do it for you. Ugh. Okay, not here. Oh, man, I'm trying real hard to get you... Uh, there. I think that's it. Uh, see what I'm, I'm digging through there so bear with me and don't you know be upset that you can't see it as quickly as you like uh, I can't see I don't know if I'm pointing at it but I'll tell you this much uh, if it's leaking it don't leak on the ground that's for sure because I've got no leaks underneath this thing um yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you on that. Um, if it was on a lift, maybe we can look at it. But no, anyhow, that's something that uh, you know, you're just going to have to live with, I guess. Um, what else was there? Oh, the brake fluid was dark. Okay. but it checks out everything is good it, it runs and drives good just like i said again this is uh the only corvette um c7 corvette like this that you're going to find for under thirty thousand dollars and i'm really trying everything i can to show y'all and be as transparent as possible that's why i make these videos um so you're not just you know, you're not just looking at photos and, and taking a guess. Uh, so I'm making this video for one individual. Uh, and, you know, this just kind of shows you that, you know, I'm serious. You wanted to go to the dealership and get an inspection. I did that. Uh, now I'm out of time and I got to go on this business trip. <laughs> the car was supposed to be sold by the 15th for me to get that property. Um, so here I am working on borrowed time. So, uh, let's make it happen, man. The deal's the deal. Uh, call me up. Let's make the payment. Let's, um, get the keys over into your hands, man. This could be yours. 
I mean, it's a beautiful car and I really hate to see it go, to be honest. I don't want to let it go. I mean, cause then I gotta drive this one, which I like driving this truck. It's all good, but man, that thing sucks on gas. It's got the 6.4 liter Hemi and it sucks. Then there's that one, which is just a little car I'm giving away. And then this one that I'm working on. And then this one, my wife drives. So anyhow, I mean, I don't really want to give up my, I don't want to give up my nice Corvette to ride around with her and that. I hope she don't watch this video, but anyhow, man, so that's where we are. And uh, hit me up. Let's make, make it happen, man. I'm now at like 11 minutes of trying to show you the same thing I've been showing. You know, it's a beautiful car. It don't matter which way we look at it. We can look at it sideways, front, back, upside down. It's a beautiful car. There's no catch. It's just that I need to buy this property. I need to buy it now. And this this car helps me do that. Uh, you want this car? And, you know, it's, it sure is nice when you wake up, open up the garage, pull this thing out, and take it for a drive. Everybody loves this car. And you know, I mean, it's it's not even a Z06, but people still just, man, they always like wave me down, like little kids, I'm driving down the road, they're like run, their, ride their bikes up beside, not beside me, but like alongside on the sidewalk because they like the, they like this exotic looking sports car. But you know, those of you that are Corbin uh, enthusiasts, you know, this is just a, another C7 to y'all. Those of you that want to get in the market, I mean, here's your chance. I mean, you can have this Corvette right now cheaper than that minivan was when it came out, or that, or that. Probably about the same price as that one when it came out. Obviously not now, but anyhow, man, less than $30,000. And this is yours. Daily driver. You can drive it wherever you want. You can pick it up now and drive it to St. Louis, Missouri. You know, it's it's just it's just a good car. It's got a few little things wrong with it. I don't know I'm not even say wrong with it. It's got a few little things to it. Like I said, this, which is what's on the Carfax. Um, I screwed this up when I put it on. I didn't know it, but I did. I mean, I didn't know it until it's too late. But it's on there. You can take it off and rewrap it if you want. Um, this little thing right there. But yeah, I mean, it just passed the Chevy um, inspection. Man, that's all I can say about it. Bro, you want the car? Let's make a deal. You don't want the car? Cool. The next guy watching, hit me up. Uh, I'm just kind of frustrated with I don't want to say wasting my time, but setting aside time when I got so many things going on. All right, guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care. God bless. And Merry Christmas.